Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the More Freedom Railroad. We are over here in Ella, and we just saw train number two take off with our passenger cars. So let's check out our map and make sure that our switches are all in the correct. So he needs to be on that track. And he should be good all the way over here. So we're good on that and so that means we need to jump in engine number one here and uh take off for a uh, whittier as well so let's uh hit the nine and we will we're reversing and let's get out of here So we're going to finish off the day here, and I want to try to remember what it is to bring that up. It is I. Yes, there we go. We're on day number three here in the More Freedom Railroad. So we've currently delivered 227 passengers, 15 freight deliveries, and our outstanding is one car over here. So we'll figure out what that is. I'm pretty sure I delivered everything to where they're supposed to be. So make sure that we get, I think we're good right now on our speed. We just got to make sure we stay about 25 miles an hour. Uh, there's what our finances are. So I wonder if we need to re order repair parts at some time. Uh, that's in progress. Our repair is... Oh, I thought that was the last load. Uh, incorrect. Looks like we have another load to do. Phase two, we'll have three, so... Yeah. There's our finances. Y'all been along with all of that. We're going to have some passenger stuff here in a, just a minute. Uh, there's all of our stuff. And uh, there. Oh, there's me. My firm employee. So there we go. That's all of our whatnots and so forth. So again, we're running over to Whittier. And we're going to pick up our, where that guy is, he's right there. I'm sure this is probably not okay. This wouldn't be how you'd be normally running it, but I, I guess. But uh, he's going to get onto the correct, we're going to just come over here and make sure, just for funsies, that everything is good. Okay, so that's good. Run over here. There's that tank car. And this one should be straight, which it is. And we should be good to here. So we'll probably run around it. And, uh, yeah, that's what we'll probably do. So we'll be back in a minute. Once we get over to the, the train car area, I suppose. Unless you want to hear it. Well, you know what we'll do? We won't cut it. We're not going to cut it. We're going to let it go. I'm going to make sure that our... I'll check it every so often to see what our... Um, need to do that. I'll check it every so often to make sure our... Uh, we're not going over our speed. But, yeah, there we go.
All right, we're coming into the station here, so let's come up here and get this guy. And we need to... We're just going to um, get him around, and then we'll deal with engine two here. We're going to call this the last engine of the day. So I'm going to jump over here, and I'm going to set that to manual. That one looks good. So our next stop, our next time we pull out of here will be tomorrow for this. Just checking our signals, or I'm sorry, our switches, and we want to be on that track because we're going to grab these cars, so there we go. Slow down a little bit. We don't want to derail. Not that that would ever happen at all. I'm honestly looking forward to what they can do in this game and what they add and what they're working on. Uh, it's such a fun game, and it's just relaxing to come out and drive the steam trains. And I was talking to Kung Fu Beer the other night on, when I was streaming, and we were talking about this game and, you know, the difference between this and Railroads Online, and we were just talking about how, you know, it's hours upon hours to make things happen in Railroads Online. And jump up here to the end of this car. Because you, you, you have to build all the tracks, and which is kind of cool that you get to build all the tracks yourself and all that. But it's also just such a pain, you know what I mean? And we have this guy, I think, has the brake on. All right, let's make sure our switches down this way are good. Good, 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 good. And we can just throw it on this track right there. So let's, uh, let's get moving. Nope, oh, that's not the gas. That is not the throttle. That's not what we wanted to do. I don't know why I didn't notice that. I'm sure y'all did. I don't, I honestly, like, I looked at that and I said, no, that's good. Try this. Now oh, we're good there. 
honestly just need to be in there. Rocco the Pupper's in here with me. You can know who Rocco is. He's the gold, my golden doodle. Uh, I think there's a couple, a couple shorts of him on the channel. Sure, this sighting's also fine. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. All right. There we go. 121 delivered. What we're going to do is we're going to take this up here. We're going to park it in the engine shed. And after, before we do that, though, we need to... There we go. Got it. I usually uh, remember to hold shift when I do that. Forgot this time, but that's okay. I'm going to... I want to see something. I'm just looking at things right now. So we're going to park this up in the engine set shed for the night. I forgot that the whistle. I have to figure out which one's the repair track. I thought it was the one on the left, but maybe it's not. Or maybe it is, and I put this one on the right. Not that it needs a huge amount of repairs, but I mean, it's 81%, so... Might could. Might as well. Make sure we're good there, and we're good there, and... I'm gonna hit this. So if we come over here to locations, East Whittier engine service, repair track, diesel stand, coal odor, Rocco is now barking. We're going to put it in, we'll put it there. I don't know if somebody's here. So it's getting close, it's close to the 4th of July, so... You're watching this on Wednesday. Tomorrow's the 4th of July, and Rocco does not like... He does not like uh, fireworks. Uh, some of my neighbors were shooting off... Shot off a bunch of fireworks a couple years ago. Well, it would have been last year, because he's only been here for one year. But they shot off a huge amount of just firecrackers out behind the house, and he got so scared from them. He was just startled. And so ever since then, he just, whenever somebody's shooting off fireworks, he barks. So it makes it, you know, like I was like, oh, I should, I'm going to go to watch fireworks this year. And I was like, ah, oh, I can't do that just in case, because, you know, in case he uh, gets upset. I don't want him sitting here by him, his lonesome <laughs> with, with, uh, we got to get out of the thing by his lonesome just barking he's, he's so funny he's, i don't know if he's mad right now or what he is, is super funny though so i i put that in there and i don't i don't know what to do now uh okay so it's on the it's on the repair track <laughs> it's trying to chew on my shirt so it's good it's good to go and uh, we're going to check out Engine 2 real fast and see what its deal is. It is 55%. So he, he really wants to play. Hold on. Cool. 
Yeah, he is being something else. So let's go check out that train. And I'm going to disconnect it. <laughs> and we're going to go put it on the repair track as well. So sorry about his barking. There's nothing I can do. He's he's barking now at this point. This is what it, this is his this is his thing now. Um, get that. We're gonna go forward. I love that whistle. Yeah. So let's get this switched. Basically, we should be good pretty much, I think, back to where the other stuff was. So we're, I'm going to check out the... I hear how it sounds with the V button. Okay, let's check our map. Right here, that one is good. That one is good. That one's good. We're good to right there, and we want to switch that one. Okay, well, let's go put this guy in the shed and let it get some repairs as well, because, you know, not that I derailed it. I mean, that, that never happened. Now, I want to check our rolling stock. Yeah, so... It looks like a, I guess eventually you have to repair your rolling stock as well. What's the headlight? Is it H? Nope. L. Nope. Okay, is that? I can't remember. It's fine. Oh, look, there's my guy. I think it was L is my lantern. My lantern. All right. Let's click this guy. That's on. That's good. We're going to hit tab. Spotted. So they should get all of their repairs overnight. And, uh, hey, there's my guy. Would you look at that? I don't usually get out of engine number one. 
So that is, and I'm going to say, you know, so to, to wrap up season number one here, and I know this is a very short video. We only did a little bit of things and uh, to wrap up season number one here in railroader, uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun playing this game, and I'm looking forward to coming back to it in a little bit. Um, it's not going away from the channel. It's just I'm running seasons now, and I'm doing a few, you know, ten we trying to do ten weeks of every game. I missed a week for this one because I had no air conditioning. But um, hey, that's gonna do it here in Railroader for season number one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to all the updates that they're putting out for the game, and hopefully you come back for the next games that are coming out on the channel. I'm excited about them. It's season two for a couple of the ones that we ran earlier this year, and hopefully you come back and enjoy those, and, and until next time here in Railroader, take care and have a, have a wonderful day.